up with some coconut water. So I bought this from Bintang and it was roughly 50p. <laughs> That's like so cheap considering how big it is. It's these ginormous like bag my hair. Um, and I don't have, I only have this. I bought this in Thailand and it's so blunt. I can't believe how blunt it is. I need to sharpen it. But the guy in the shop yesterday, he just punctured it with a normal light knife and so I'm hoping that I can get it open with this. Um, it sprayed everywhere on him yesterday, so... Perfect. So I might not be able to eat what's inside, but at least I can drink it. Mm. Good. I also keep forgetting to mention that since it's brown, that normally means it's not been bleached. So that's kind of what you should look for when you buy a coconut. Um, because normally when, when it's cut open, it's white, and then they just put it in a load of, like, these big massive pots of bleach to keep it white. Because, like, you know, you look at this and it's brown and people may think, oh, it looks a bit off or whatever. But this is, this means it's natural, it's not been coated in any chemicals, so... So that's good. Yeah, I'm just mm, drinking it with a straw and I that I developed a technique to find out how much is in here. Just push it down to the bottom, stick your thumb over the thingy, pull it out, and then you'll see a line. If you hold it up to the right, you'll see a line. So just that much hold it in there. I think these are good value for money. 50p for one of these is huge. It's the biggest coconut thing I've ever had. So. On the road, got my bike, and we're away. We? I suppose me and Barney. We've gone from Kuta to Ubud, and I'm almost there. I've stopped a few times and asked people because the road signs here aren't very clear. In fact, I don't even think there are road signs. You know, that says the street name. So I've been looking in shops. You know. The, on their banners they'll have a, an address so 
I am sorted. I have to go right, left, right, left. Okay. <laughs> and then hopefully I should reach my accommodation. I hope so, because it's bloody hot and sweaty. That really needs to be eaten. But like that's a cycle that I did for two hours long. And when I had a drink and when I had a mango before, I had this really horrible like sensation in my stomach. Like I'd eaten something bad. And I think in Kuta I went to Bintang and bought my lunch, but I also bought jackfruit as a snack. And I don't think having jackfruit and then putting papaya on top of that was the right choice because I've been burping and it tastes like egg, like rotten egg. And also my choice at Divine Earth last night, I think um, the temper chips and hummus, pesto and some dried tomato, like that didn't make me feel good. This morning I just felt awful, I felt like I had a hangover, like my mental clarity was, was just gone. It didn't exist anymore. And I just felt like awful. So I think that is also a problem right now too. Um, but I want to go to um, Seeds of Life restaurant or cafe or whatever it's called. And I want to go there for dinner tonight. Be so good to try now. Alchemy is closed because of the festival tonight and they're refurbishing so they don't open until Friday. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going out tonight and trying a new rural food restaurant.